Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually going to be going through the Drunk Elephant Physical Sunscreen. I just purchased this yesterday at Sephora. It's around $33. So I just wanted to walk you through my morning skincare routine, show you this, and I'm just gonna teach you a way to get rid of the white cast with the physical sunscreens. But before we get in this video, make sure you're subscribed down below. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, so first, I've already washed my face with my SkinCeuticals Simply Clean Gel Cleanser. Here is this. So that's already done. So now we're just gonna step into my next step, which is gonna be applying my SkinCeuticals CE for Rulic. Now, this stuff is fantastic. I have a video already on it. I'll link it up above. But this is really great for like my acne scars and things like that. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my face is looking like right now. I'm still dealing with a little bit of like hormonal acne and acne scars from that. So it's kind of like a two in one. So basically, I'm just gonna be using this. It's about four or five drops. You're gonna bring it down your neck and chest as well. And sometimes I do use a little bit more than I should, but you gotta use it before it completely like oxidizes. It will change color. And you're supposed to use it within three months. I kinda take it to six months, only because it is $166. So every three months, that's like another bill. So no thanks. Okay, now that that is into my skin, I'm gonna give it like two, 20 more seconds. Now we're good with that. Now we're gonna go in next with my SkinCeuticals AGE Complex Eye Cream. This is specifically for dark circles. I just purchased this. Dun, dun, dun. Little expensive, but we're testing it out. So just straight underneath. It is a thicker eye cream, so if that's not something you like, I wouldn't recommend this one. However, right now being so dry outside, my skin needs the extra moisture, so. And as I get an eyelash, and whatever is kind of left over, I just kind of like pat on the top of my eyes. All right, done with that stuff. Okay, then just add like a moisturizer on top. I'm using one I got from Marshall, like six bucks. Dun, dun, dun. It's a vitamin C hyaluronic, and I can use this during the daytime. Now you can't use vitamin C with retinol, so please don't mix that or you will have a reaction on your skin. So this is just my daytime moisturizer. So once that is all rubbed in, we are now gonna go into the sunscreen. So again, this is the um Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense from Drunk Elephant. Again, I just purchased it last night, so this is gonna be like a first time reaction. It is 20% zinc oxide. What I liked about it for the price, it's pretty big compared to other sunscreens like my Dermalogica one, which I got from the beauty supply store for cheaper. However, it was like mm, this big. So, negative ghost writer that, I'm not gonna purchase that again. So, super cute packaging, already know I love Dark Elephant stuff. Pop it open, ow, shit. Maybe I won't pop it open that fast. Perfect, we love to seal, see that safety seal. That was a tongue twister. Okay, cool, now, along with this stuff, cause this will probably give you a white cast, I'm gonna be using their deep bronzy drops. Now I've used this with all my other sunscreen. It is going to add a little bit of bronze to it. it. Has a great little cap, it's dirty, sorry about that. And you put this in and it gets rid of the white cast of your sunscreen. Now again, I am fair, I'm, my skin is very fair. So just take that into account with what I'm saying here. But I'm gonna take the sunscreen. Okay, like this. It is a three ounce bottle of sunscreen, which is pretty good. Taking that there, I'm gonna take like a half pump of the DeBronzy in it. So that's what it's gonna look like right now. I'm going to mix that in kind of on the back of my hand. You see it just changes the color a little bit. Kind of makes it more into like a tinted moisturizer and come back in. Okay. 
other side. So yeah, that is all rubbed in now. I'm just gonna still kind of keep playing with it like a little bit. But overall, I like that sunscreen. My face is super dry, so there is a SkinCeuticals one, which I was loving. However, it's just too runny, and I need something a little bit thicker. So this one is nice because it is thicker compared to that one. And they are around, this one's actually cheaper by like two bucks. And you can get it at Sephora rather than SkinCeuticals. You have to either get at like a med spa or like a Bloom Mercury. So that's something to take into account there. There's also another one that's great. You can get it at Target. This stuff though, Extreme White Cast, if you don't put some type of bronzer drops or something in it. So just um, take that into account as well. Also when this bottle reaches the sun, they call it the Blue Lizard because the bottle will change colors to blue when it is in contact with UVA, UVB light. So kind of fun, but this is Extreme White Cast, especially because my husband's a little bit darker and that shit is white. So besides that, I'm going to I don't even think I'm gonna put any makeup on on top. I think I'm good with that. Yeah, just wanted to give an update on this new sunscreen. Also, I only use the physical sunscreen because the chemical sunscreens, not good for your body, not good for the coral reef. So I just don't even buy those anymore. So I only use the physical. It's gonna be titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Those are both chemical sunscreen ingredients. So when you are shopping and you see something that might be physical you think look for those two ingredients if they have it it is if they don't it's kind of like a mixture of the two like this one is like a little bit of a mixture it has zinc oxide and then octose cryoline or something like that so probably won't repurchase that one again but yeah this is a great option it's accessible if you have a sephora near you or on their website and i feel like it's pretty good for the amount that you're getting so yeah that's going to finish my skincare daily routine. Make sure you're using sunscreen. There's no point to buy vitamin C's, retinols, all these things if you are not gonna put sunscreen on your face. Oh, and one more thing. Oh shit. If you are oily, this is that super goop. This is a physical sunscreen as well, powder form. You basically can just get another replacement for it. This is gonna be great for like vacation or if you already have makeup on, you just twist the lid here and like on top I can just put a little bit of powder on the brush will get a little bit sticky because my face isn't fully dry when I'm putting this on however it's great it's just SPF 35 actually and you can throw it in your bag and it's just a way to reapply your SPF so yeah that will be the end of the video thank you so much for watching and go put your sunscreen on Thank you.